Hello, everyone. Welcome to an interview with our mindful with our mindfulness coach and gratitude um, advocate Louise Hutton. Um, Hi. Thanks for joining us, Louise. So let thank me introduce you. Louise. Yeah. Thank you. Louise is an occupational therapist. Um, for those of you with MS, then you might have heard those heard of those. Um, but she's moving in to being a mindfulness coach and she's developing a daily gratitude practice. She um, She's established a daily video uh, gratitude practice, which you can watch on Instagram stories and you can look it up, look her up, um, it, follow her on Wellbeing Louise. She's also got a Facebook page, which is Breathe Flow. Balance, well, sorry, it's Balance Flow Brief, isn't it? Um, which you can find her on Facebook. Yeah, sorry about that. So, so now on with the interview. So, can you explain what is meant by, well, actually, first of all, um, what made you transition from, or start to transition from occupational therapy to mindfulness? Okay. Um, yeah. Hi, Sharon. Thank you so much for having me. Um, yeah, my background is I'm an occupational therapist. I've been uh, working in the NHS for about eight years now. And I found mindfulness um, uh, about four or five years ago. And part of that was obviously starting a gratitude practice as well on top of that. Um, and the reason, personal reason, was because um, I had a lot of stress. <laughs> um, so that was my kind of way in, really. And what I found was um, by practicing mindfulness and gratitude, it was something which um, also helped me with my patient work um, as an occupational therapist and also in my own personal life. Um, so, yeah, that's how I kind of came about it in wow. the first place. Yeah, and um, when you say it helped your patients, how did you find it helped your or your patient work? How did how did you find it impacted that? Yeah, um, so should we talk specifically around grati gratitude? Yeah. I'm yes. Sure. Yes, yes please. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, for me, um, when I was working with uh, patients who particularly were kind of managing kind of long term conditions. Um, a lot of what they were experiencing um you know with dealing with the medical system is there's a lot of kind of challenges and um we tend to kind of focus on the problems you know and the issues and um medication and the uh, all the kind of things which kind of tend to be quite negative and for some of my patients actually when I was uh, working with them and building rapport um, so my main focus was obviously about kind of seeing the person and acknowledging them and their experience thus far and the part of talking about what was useful um, because it was always about problems and challenges and, and things like this. So, yeah, it became something which um, came up in some of my patient work. Right. That's really interesting because it relates back to um, one of the trials that I posted about recently that they said that especially with long term chronic conditions like MS, people can become very disease focused and very, um, yeah, like you were saying, focused on problems. And it, gratitude can take you out of that to help you focus on the positives. Is that what you found? Yeah, absolutely. And um, I mean, a lot of what occupational therapy therapists do is obviously focusing on the day to day things. So um, as you probably know, getting washed and dressed and eating and um, sleeping and disease management and and actually um, there. What I found was um, it, you know, it was the small things in life you know, the very basic things. And that could be quite challenging because we like to live a full life and and outside of 
outside of um, just the small things. So it, it was very challenging for some people to get past, you know, the fact that they couldn't do so many other things. Um, and it was really kind of a shift in mindset that really helped right. um, of being able to see, um, you know, what could you be grateful for in your daily life? Um, yeah. And I think for me personally, it kind of, it helped me, you know, just being more mindful, more aware and um, of our sensory experience in this world. So, you know, the, the trees and the birds and um, the warm water whilst having a shower and, you know, all of these things helped me. And from that experience and as an occupational therapist, we're focusing on those areas. It was really useful to bring them together and, okay, right, you know, there's not a lot happening today uh, with regards to, yeah. you know, maybe a lot of fatigue and there's a lot of pain, but what what can you take from this day um, that you can be grateful for? Um, and right. It's, yeah, so. So, so you did actually use it in your occupational therapy sessions? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, and it would obviously depend on, time and you know things that um, were the focus of the session but um, I feel as well just from the way that I work um, it was a really nice effective way of bringing in very simple um, usable strategies um, so yeah gratitude was definitely one of those. That's brilliant and um, we've had some questions from the group from the uh, nutrition and lifestyle group and they were, there's been some confusion between, you know, okay, you've got mindfulness, but where does gratitude fit in? Yeah. Um, so I, the way that I see mindfulness and the way that I practice it um, is, it's kind of like an umbrella term for life. You know, it's how I live my life. I live a right. mindful life. So um, with regards to, you know, um, everything that you do throughout your life. So um, kind of getting up in the morning and showering and eating and um, going to work and, you know, whatever it is that kind of filling your day, I can do mindfully. And right. gra gratitude is something within that. So um, gratitude um, for, you know, being able to have a shower and being able to um, see the sunshine and being able to breathe and you know um, very very kind of simple things and essential things um, yeah. but it's just so it's part of a mindfulness practice that's how I've kind of um, seen it so when practicing gratitude um, it's more than kind of going yeah yeah, yeah okay I'm grateful for uh, the food on my plate and I'm grateful you know it can become a bit of a um you know why aren't you great you know you should be grateful for what you've got you know we've heard that in the past haven't we yeah and yeah it, things could be worse you should be grateful um it's more than just saying I'm grateful it's about feeling it you know so okay it's the what mindfulness kind of inherently is is um awareness you know so okay let break it down to one small thing so um i'm eating um an orange or a tatsuma or something like that and i'm eating it mindfully so i'm eating it slowly i'm really tasting it um yeah. i'm smelling it you know i'm really enjoying it um and the gratitude comes in to that when it's like wow like i've just been able to go to the shop and pick this out and bring it home and eat it you know forgetting that you know that it has to be grown from a tree it has to be picked by someone taken you know on a on a truck on a boat you know yeah. to the shop to kind of get there the journey so it's been through <laughs> the journey it's been through yeah to kind of get there and so there's that you know wow I'm really grateful that I've got food you know to eat yeah. I'm really grateful that I've got the sensations in my mouth to taste the food or, you know, whatever it is. Um, you can kind yeah. of apply it within a mindfulness practice. Yeah. We've just had a, a comment from Sandra saying gratitude helps me be my in my quest to be mindful. 
So she actually, it sounds like she uses it as a tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah like she just said. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, cool. Thank you for that, Sandra. Thank you for sharing. Um, so, oh, sorry. So, 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 so you use it as kind of like a day to day as part of your day to day. Am I understanding that right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's like a, it's a daily practice. I mean, um, I think kind of gratitude kind of comes to me throughout, you know, throughout the day through mindfulness but then there's having a specific practice as well so that's well yes so that's what I was gonna get on to do you set aside a um a specific time or do you have a like a routine that you say okay I'm going to be especially mindfully gra grateful yeah for, for this amount of time five minutes every morning or something yeah yeah so I think um, for me personally, um, it's been, there's been a lot of shifts with it. So it happens kind of spontaneously. Um, if anyone knows me, um, I'm slightly kind of Pollyanna-ish um, and I will be, I see, see the good in most things. Um, so it, it happens kind of quite naturally in that respect. Um, I remember a few years ago, I was listening to, um, I think he's a half Harvard uh, lecturer and he was talking about a gratitude practice with regards to writing so yes. writing kind of yeah. things that you're grateful for um so that got me on to um writing in my diary so I'd write a few things that I was grateful for each day so that became a practice and it's just evolved from there really um I consistency wise it's been kind of up and down okay. as things are OK, um, but there's always been, you know, an element of it, whether it be a vocal thing um, or a written thing. Recently, I've started doing it on video um, okay. because for me, I wanted the accountability and it also kind of fits into my mode of like wanting to express gratitude and, and share it um, and hopefully kind of inspire people to feel um, to start a kind of gratitude practice. Well. And do you find having that accountability um, is helping you be more consistent in your practice? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it, defi it definitely helps me um, in every area of my life. I know that if I have something, somebody relying on me for something um, and or if there's somebody there supporting me, then it definitely helps me. So, yeah, it's a kind of it's a win win, really. Um, yeah helps me and it's also kind of um yeah it's practicing what I teach really yeah. um because um, maybe that's something that um we could introduce as part of the group if people want if people want accountability then maybe if people could post in the nutrition and lifestyle for MS group say, okay, I'm going to do a daily gratitude journal and have that accountability or even post videos just so you've got that accountability. Um, like like um, Louise said, it's really important. It can really help with establishing a practice. Yeah, yeah, oh, 100%. And it's just, and it's, it's finding what resonates with you as well, you know, um, whether it be a video or maybe it's just writing it in your diary or, you know, like doing it one to one or like it's an amazing idea to do it in a community. And um, I've experienced I've experienced that kind of as well. And it's just yeah, it's really I think it's really important to share. Um, so oh, right. I think that's really powerful as well to kind of, you know, share with where we're at and what we're doing and and things. So. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like a great idea for your community. Oh, I hope so. And um, so I did have some other questions. Is what benefits have you noticed for yourself? And you mentioned it for your patients. So I don't know if you want to take mm -hmm. both at two points, yeah. two parts. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, from a personal perspective, um, it's definitely, again, it kind of comes hand in hand with um, mindfulness really is, um, it's helped me be aware, more aware of the small things in life. Um, yeah. 
for sure you know um for me nature's I mean you know it's, it's up there with kind of like one of the most important things for me is to be out in nature and shifts as in the seasons as as they go by you know from spring and summer into autumn and thing it and and just feeling a sense of awe as well it's kind of come hand in hand with that of like oh my gosh look you know there's all this amazing growth from this bud um which yeah. then eventually forms into a flower which then you know um it's just amazing so it's helped me kind of feel my senses more and see and notice um what's going on um in the present in the you know this moment um yeah. so yeah it's been really great from that respect as well I think as well um I mean I feel I know we we have a negative bias you know uh, and I mentioned that with regards to um, I think in the medical world as well, of you know, it's it's always about problems. You know, on, in media we see problems and fear and issues, and um, we naturally kind of are um, we we have a negative bias. You know, it's built within us, and it's a kind of it's a protective mechanism as well. It, you know, if you think about back to kind of caveman time when um you know you you had to be worried about where you're going to get your next meal from and is the you know the local lion going to come and eat you <laughs> in your sleep aware and you have to have that oh you know that worry so it's something that's kind of built within us um whereas now we don't we don't have that yeah um and we have this kind of um, the negativity um, that kind of we see so so frequently so I feel that it's really important to um, bring gratitude in like really consciously bring it into our lives and the more we do that the more we start to notice what is good in the world um, you know um, because we don't often give time to that you know that just that kind of reflection in the evening of like wow, I'm really grateful that, um, you know, I got to um, speak to my lovely friend today. You know, we made time for that. Or I'm really grateful for that guy who held the door open um, for me. Um, and, well, you know, that was a really, really beautiful sunset that I saw earlier. You know, how amazing is that? So bringing that in, uh, bringing in that kind of sense of gratitude, um, what, what you notice as well is we f you feel it you know you feel rather than this kind of feeling of um kind of uh maybe fear and worry or kind of like negative and problems which kind of makes us feel kind of really you know tight and um unsecure there's this right. like, openness you know there's this kind of heart openness um to gratitude of like oh you know, I'm I'm really I'm really happy that you know um, I spoke to that person, and it opens the heart. So it's yeah, it's really important. And the more we do that, the more we practice that, the more the more good in the world that we see. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I was just going to say, do you do you think or do you feel that um, people respond to that when you feel more open and more um open-hearted that, that yeah. do you find people respond to that oh 100 respond to you, million yeah. percent yeah I mean when I was working on the hospital wards I would um my I had a saying it was smile and the ward will smile with you yeah smile with you but smile and the ward will smile with you and I used it as a kind of a bit of an experiment so I would um literally you know smile at everybody you know I'd smile at the cleaner I'd smile at the tea lady and they'd be kind of sometimes looking back at me in shock as if to say, <laughs> do I know them um yeah. but have you, you escaped know, from also, somewhere <laughs> yeah who is this smiling person yeah. <laughs> um but actually and you know and I did I got a bit of a reputation for I, my nickname was mindful Lou um <laughs> at one point at one point and um yeah and you know wholeheartedly um you know just just that very simple act of um you know noticing so I'll, you know I'll notice 
what's going on and I'll be like wow look at those you know birds in the trees and then I'll walk along and then I'll be smiling and then I'll smile at the person that I next come up to and you know and and it's an energy you know it's a real energy and you notice a shift um and it's not that you know putting on a brave face you know it's that kind of right you know I must be strong and I must kind of get through that it's this kind of it's an energy that yeah it's that heart openness it's that um it's the lighter side of yourself that's that's there yeah. and yeah and it definitely it helps with connection and um yeah you do get some weird looks from some people <laughs> <laughs> but I bet they're smiling with their weird look yeah exactly exactly and they say even I don't know I don't know where the evidence are I have to look it up but they say even if you're even if you're putting a false smile on <laughs> you know if you're like friend you know smiling like this you're still yeah. releasing lots of positive hormones as well so even yeah. if you have to kind of force it on it's it's actually really positive anyway so um yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah because that's what um I've been talking about is um that gratitude, especially when you show appreciation for people. So if someone does something nice for you, like open the door for you, if you show like your heartfelt appreciation for that person, it will, it, like you say, it transfers that positive energy to them. And you can see it in their eyes that you've just made them feel really good. And then that it returns to you as well. And they keep talking about this, um, the positive hormone, oxytocin. Oxytocin. Oxytocin, is it? Oxytocin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that that, it it becomes this positive feedback loop. And like you say, then you're spreading. It's a positive feedback loop between yourself and that person. But then that is going to spread because that you've, you've, you're spreading that positive energy. So two of you are going to go out then with positive energy. And like you say, it can really, it can really have a positive impact on, mm. yeah, on, on where you are and the people around you. And then who knows how far that can spread. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's, yeah, it's something I literally live by, you know. Um, like I said, I don't think I quite finished the story, but when I would be on the Sorry. wards... So- I'd have that like smile and world the ward smiles with you like there was this kind of if I smile at the cleaner you know because quite often you know she's not maybe acknowledged and then she then goes and smiles while she's kind of cleaning around the patient the patient then is going to smile right (laughs) and then when the doctor comes along the patient's going to smile at the doctor and it's just this kind of like energy exchange um and I feel yeah and I feel like you know, there is this kind of, it can be seen as this Pollyanna-ish kind of, you know what that means, that term, right? I don't, yeah, know, yeah. I don't know where you've got your followers, whether they're, because it's in the UK, it's a, it's based on this little girl, a film from the kind of 1960s. And it was like, you know, she's always happy. And people are like, why are you so happy? You know, you shouldn't be so happy all the time. Um, yeah. And, and actually, you know, um, it's not that kind of, like I said, it's not that kind of false, falseness of happiness but it it spreads and in the film she shows that it spreads you know like she gets the kind of grumpiest people in town and shows shows kind of you know then this game of like the glad they call it the glad game you know what are you glad about today um it spreads and you know it it and I really feel that um that's obviously one of my strong influences in life, Pollyanna. <laughs> um, but it does. It, 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 it's totally true. It does. And I think that's what we need more of, um, you know, because we are so entwined in so much kind of negativity and challenging and challenges and struggle um, from a health perspective, from a society perspective. Um, we, we are always kind of seeing seeing those those difficulties. Um, we, we need to bring in uh yeah the gratitude (laughs) yeah yeah and yeah so gratitude it's going to bring positive energy to you and to those around you and it it can spread and we can be positive force in the world regardless of our situation 
definitely yeah exactly and it is that you know it is that thing it's like one person at a time you know um if you're making one person smile um or you know if you're making yourself you know that's the important thing here isn't it it's like you know you're changing the energy within your own body um then that's the most important thing um you know there's a saying isn't it you can't change people you can only change yourself so we're shifting an energy inside of us uh, which then, you know, people notice it. They're like, oh, your smile's different, you know? What's, what's, <laughs> what's wrong with you? You look you look happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it I shouldn't be know. unusual. It should be normal. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, I know you were mentioning that when you were working on the wards and can you remember or do you remember noticing the what benefits it had for for your patients yeah um absolutely um you know people will will comment um you know on the fact that you're smiling or you're um particularly kind of i think for for i think the joy of occupational therapy is that you know big one of the biggest things that we need to to get out of an assessment is rapport you know and we you gain rapport by gaining trust and you get that by hearing someone and acknowledging them and their story and um you know just the simple act of um being present and listening to what someone is really saying um is profound you know and i can wholeheartedly say that it's profound and you can see shifts in people just through um listening and hearing them um and yeah and that is for me um you know I and I can see it and I can sense it and I can kind of you know I can see it in someone's eyes and I get this huge huge sense of gratitude I can feel it now you know it kind of like it chokes me up because I'm like you know that 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 when someone is seen and heard um and you can see that kind of evolving in them you know and they're having an aha moment or they're you know um they're they're feeling that I get that kind of sense of gratitude for having been able to share that with that person yeah Um, so yeah you can you can totally see it um that's that's quite um yeah that's quite uh, an emotional and powerful like you say it's quite a powerful thing to hear even Mm -hmm. so thank you for sharing that Oh. Okay. so we're, we're coming to the end of our half an hour that went amazingly quickly so um so moving on to so what are you doing now and where can people find you and yeah what are you involved in at the moment um so yeah I am um I'm now working for myself which is very scary indeed um and I'm kind of yeah going along the path of building my own business and I'm um, working on building the mindfulness I'm a coach as well so I really love supporting people it's what I love doing Um, hence my kind of time in the NHS and now I'm kind of really wanting to do it kind of my way and develop the mindfulness so I mean from a following perspective (laughs) people follow us these days um, you can find me on at Wellbeing with Louise. If you type that, I think if you type it both into Facebook and Instagram, at Wellbeing yeah. with Louise, then you'll find it. I'm sure we'll put the links in anyway. Um, but yeah, I work kind of on a one-to-one basis on Skype. Um, and I also bring mindfulness into the workplace. So my intention is oh, to right. spread the love into the NHS. Um, yes, and working with the staff in the NHS as well. So yeah that's me (laughs) amazing well that's great and best of luck and thank you so much for joining us I really appreciate it's been inspirational talking to you yeah thank you so much Sharon it's been wonderful um chatting to you yeah great well thank you and best of luck and I'm sure maybe we'll talk to you in the future great cool (laughs) see you you soon Bye. bye